Learning how to write in cursive may be a skill of a bygone era, but an Indiana Senate bill is trying to bring it back to Hoosier classrooms. You may remember when cursive was last debated at the state level. In 2011, the Indiana Department of Education decided to no longer require schools to teach cursive handwriting. In the years since, the Senate has tried to reinstate this rule through various bills. Now they're trying again. In the meantime, some local teachers have continued to teach it in the classroom. News 10's Caitlin Hunt met with teachers at one school where cursive handwriting lessons are already a part of the school day. Some say cursive handwriting is an art form, and teaching an art form takes time. Time a lot of teachers don't have. And I spoke with two teachers who say that's their biggest concern when it comes to a new Senate bill. At Rosedale Elementary, students in Lisa Nealon's classroom are still being taught the art of cursive handwriting. Nealon says she's been teaching cursive for years, and students learn proper techniques, including posture, paper position, and letter placement. For Nealon, cursive handwriting still has a place in education today. I think it's important for kids to um, be able to read it. So in order to, for them to be able to read it, I think we should be teaching you know, how to write how to write it. And if a new Senate bill is signed into law, Nealon students could be ahead of other Hoosier kids. Senate Bill 72 aims to require all Indiana schools to add cursive handwriting to their curriculum. But teachers like Anna Verosco have their concerns. She previously taught cursive in the classroom, and she says it took 30 to 40 minutes a day to teach students cursive. You know, getting them to form the letters correctly, you're going to every kid's seat. You've got left-handed writers, you've got right-handed writers. Um, and every kid doesn't print the way they should. While Verosco believes kids should learn how to sign their name, she wonders if cursive handwriting has a purpose in today's world. Because the world is continuing to change, cursive has to take a back seat because they have to be able to write and type. While both teachers wait to see what happens, Neelan says she'll still teach cursive when she can. She's hoping her students see the benefits of this skill. I'm hoping that they can they can walk away saying, you know, this is something I, I can do and I can produce and I, I learned this in school and, and be proud of something they've done. While Neelan says she's supportive of cursive writing education, she does say bills like this put even more pressure on teachers. In the newsroom, Caitlin Hunt, News 10.